Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you are looking at a Synology network attached storage and you're trying to figure out how to do like 10 gigabit per second or video editing storage, these NASs or NASs are really nice. I highly recommend them. However, there's something that I didn't understand. Can you just directly connect via USB into these things so that they can work like an external hard drive? That is what I want to talk about real quick. I'm not going to waste any time. Here's the deal. The two major network attached storage companies out there are QNAP, Q, QNAP, and Synology, right? And there's this DS1618 Plus. I ended up going with this model. And if you're looking to do network attached storage for video editing in 2021, here's what I wish I would have known and what I've learned. Um, real quick, you cannot directly connect to these USB ports. A network attached storage is meant to do just that be put on the network, your internal home network. If you want to have lightning fast 10 gigabit per second connection, rather than the one gigabit, what most computers use and most routers use, you will need to get a 10 gigabit card for the thing. You will have to get a 10 gigabit ethernet receiver for your computer. Um, if you have a, an iMac, you can select that for about $100 you need to get a switch to connect them all. And then most switches that are inexpensive are these SFP pluses. You'll have to get that. And then you have to get ethernet court that actually works with it. Um, so here's the deal. You cannot directly connect via USB. And that's something that I wish I would have known. Um, there is a model from QNAP. Now, if you come to QNAP and you go to their product products and go to all storage, QNAP, the competitor to Synology, which I love this Synology. Just so you know, we did the 10 gigabit setup. It worked. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. However, the next one I buy is probably going to be one that has the QNAP. And if you go to connections here and you go to this USB quick access port, you'll see these are their only current models. There's an older model that's black, but you have the eight, the six, and the four drive versions of this. And what this will do is you can connect via USB right to the front. Otherwise, USB is actually to do a backup, and I didn't know that. So um, that way, if you're ever, <laughs> you know, I have one in an office, and now I need more, my editor, somebody else, you have people working remotely. This is a consideration you probably want, so that if you had to, you could easily and flexibly just plug right in via USB. So if you're wondering, can you plug in to a network attached storage, just straight USB? Um, the answer is no. There are some cockamamie ways. I've read out there networks. If you're asking this question, you don't know how to do it. <laughs> um, there are some ways out there, I guess, where you do you assign an IP address through the USB. I started screwing around with it. I'm like, this is terrible. I don't want to mess with it. It's super frustrating. So just measure twice, cut once. If you're in 2021 and you're wondering if you can do that, that's what I want you to know. 